Hello everyone and welcome back to Lady Bad Gaming. Today we are taking a look at Aru's Awakening, a game by Luminox Games. Let's jump right on in and see what this bad boy is all about. Um, so, a little bit of base story. We got this a monster type character. Not too really sure what he is exactly. Um, let's get to one of the easy levels here. Alright, so, basically as a monster, you're going through a puzzle, and stuff like that. Let's take a look at the controls here real quick. Oh wait, we can't do that from the pause menu. We actually have to exit the game. Yeah. Settings. So, jump and charge is going to be your left trigger. Shoot is right, teleport is with RB. Pretty weird controls, but after a while you do get used to them. Um, gameplay. Feels similar to something like Ari in the Blind Forest a little bit. So the first couple of levels here is just basic jumping. Just so that you can get used to those mechanics a little bit. Now, with most games, there's always going to be timing, crazy stuff like that. But as I said, it kind of feels like we're in the blind forest. Just the way uh, all the graphical interfaces are kind of laid out. Yeah. And I'm not stuck, I do believe. There we go. Alright. There's a little bit of a charge, which is going to be your double left trigger. Tricky. This one does take a little bit of practice. Um, There we go. Alright. So it does give you a little bit of a dash as well. Which is great. Oh shit. There's a little bit of animation there. Get out of the way of that. Get out of the way of that. Get out of the way. Boom. Alright. So there's level two. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Level three. So, there we go. 
there we go, on the side of the wheelbarrow. So we don't run into those bad evil spikes. So now we gotta teleport. Press RD to shoot. And RB to teleport. So, an example of that's going to be. Something like that. Oops. There we go. So you can control uh, the speed and distance and stuff like that a little bit, so not too bad. There we go. Knock this bad guy up. Or wake this bad guy up, sorry. How do I wake him up now? There we go. What? There we go. Teleport into him. But yeah, that's level three. Going on to level four here. Kind of like a whole new world, tiny little bit. But where is Awakening? As I said, it kind of feels like we're in the blind forest, which is fun to say the least. There's now stuff that can attack me. Oh shit. So basically there's a standstorm. If you didn't know about that, probably gonna know about it now. Black Sludge time. There we go. Keep on moving. Spam. Done. On that level. So, as you can tell, levels get harder and harder as you go along. More enemies, more complicated jumps, stuff like that. But that's a quick little look at Aurora's Awakening on the Xbox One. Definitely check it out. Link down in the below in the description. Hit that like button. Hit subscribe, guys. But until the next time, peace out.